What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that follow the channel, you know we've been doing a lot of Tesla release updates and really impressed with how fast these releases have been coming out. Well, it looks like Tesla is now going to drop 2022.20.8 before a lot of people get 2022.24 that we talked about. So our Model S just pulled this in actually. Let's go take a look at it. Again, I'm sure it's just a bug fix update. Uh, I don't believe I saw anything in the release notes online yet, but let's go ahead and take a look. So here we go, 2022.20.8, and sure enough, nothing new in the release notes. If you didn't see my prior videos, I'll go ahead and touch on these really quick. Again, these are everything that got released in 2022.20 as well. You have that cabin camera, so now that uh, that interior camera is active, and if autopilot is engaged, it will nag you now, basically. You can obviously change your data settings so it is stored on vehicle, uh, and nothing happens in regards to that under controls, software, and data sharing. Those seatbelt system enhancements, uh, again, a really good safety feature. It'll now tighten up if it senses a frontal fatal or a frontal crash in general. You have on vehicles on the S and X Tesla adaptive suspension now, where it'll adjust the ride height for an upcoming rough road. This is actually crowdsourced by uh, Tesla vehicles in the area, so really neat update for this. But again, nothing new, unique to 2022.20.8. And of course, one of my favorite features here, if you were never having FSD or anything like that, that green traffic light chime is now a standard feature in the uh, 2022.20 release so obviously that's still here in dot eight so again nothing really notated here at all uh, as far as new features this is definitely a bug fix but i purposely waited to do this update a day or so after i actually downloaded it mainly because i've been having an issue with my phone whether it's my iphone or any android phone in general uh, unlocking my car so what I mean by that is when you walk up to the vehicle, obviously the doors either auto or they should auto present themselves on the S or just unlock on a three and all that and a Y. It wasn't happening consistently. I was actually consistently having issues where it wouldn't unlock. I'd either have to wake my phone up or trigger the app or do something of that nature uh, to get inside the vehicle. I'm happy to say so far, and again, it's been a small sample size, but so far that has been fixed. I'm curious if you guys had any similar issues like that. If you have, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, I want to see if it was just my cars, but again, I have a 3 and I have a, a refresh Model S that we're obviously in right now, uh, and they both gave me an issue. I have a couple of different phones that I use regularly, but my iPhone 13 Pro Max and my Nothing Phone 1 have been my daily drivers for... Yeah, the last couple weeks now or so and they've both been giving me issues so not sure what's going on with that maybe it was just the dot seven release hopefully it's fixed in dot eight again it's worked so far so just something i wanted to point out um again nothing else new here you have those ride uh suspensions and all that those changes and everything we just discussed so we'll keep this one short and sweet go grab the update again comment down below thumbs up this video let me know have you had any of those issues that i was experiencing with dot six and dot seven Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.